even on a work day, I will roll out of bed at whatever ungodly hour to watch the BAFTA nominations. You can expect Oppenheimer to dominate. You can expect the zone of interest to show up in those tech categories, and I still haven't seen it, by the way. Before the Oscar nominations, I will watch that film. The nominees for original screenplay are <laughs> Justine Trier, Arthur Harari, Anatomy of a Fall, Greta Gerwig, Noah Baumbach, Barbie, David Hemmingson, The Holdovers, Bradley Cooper, Josh Singer, Maestro, oh, man. Celine Song, Past Lives. The nominees for Adapted <laughs> That was another thing I was going to mention. Um, you know, even with even with the bias towards British films, I really hope that Past Lives can show up in the big categories because, oh my God, please, what a beautiful film. <laughs> and afterwards, I'm going to have to look at, I'm going to have to look through the long list again to see which film just missed out. If Bradley Cooper is still able to get nominated for acting and directing, which is fine. It's Maestro was far from a terrible film, but... I don't know, after finally watching it, I'm like, yeah, you know, there's no way this is gonna be his year. <laughs> they all missed their chance with his version of A Star Is Born, so. Original screenplay, sure. The script was scripty, and let's keep going. Screenplay are Andrew Haig, All of Us Strangers, Cord Jefferson, American Fiction, Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer. Tony McNamara, Four <laughs> Things. Jonathan Glazer, The Zone of Interest. Yo. The Oscars moved Barbie to Adapted. If that means Past Lives will win an Oscar, one of these is going to miss the Adapted Screenplay Oscar. Zone of Interest is on a whole bunch of short lists. So, and, and the PGA. If anything, it'll be All of Us Strangers, which misses... And I will be sad because beautiful film, beautiful script, American fiction, poor things, Oppenheimer, those are the talky films. I mean, deservedly, deservedly so great scripts, but uh, it'll just be sad that something is going to have to miss because they moved Barbie to adapt it. The nominees for film not in the English language are... That was a solid lineup, though. 20 Days in Maripol. A doc. Anatomy of a Fool. Past Lives, <laughs> Society of the Snow, The Zone of Interest. They're doing five nominees this year. The nominees for animated film are... Not in this one, though. The Boy and the Heron, Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget. <laughs> it's a British production. Elemental, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The nominees for director are... Andrew Haig, All of Us Strangers. Justin Trier, Anatomy of a Fool. Alexander Payne, The Holdovers. Fuck off. Bradley Cooper, Maestro. Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer. Jonathan Glazer, The Zone of Interest. Six nominees. Oh my god, I'm so fucking dumb. I was about to say they were all male. <laughs> and that'd be, wow. No Barbie, no past lives. Literally, Alexander Payne, what a fucking hack. How are you going to go out of your way to shoot a film digitally, make it look like it was shot on film? Have it be in this, you know, dead poet society type college in the middle of winter. Have it be this warm, cozy film about being together, reconciling your differences and your regrets and all that shit and have it be really warm and cozy and then be fucking nauseated when people are calling it warm and cozy as if you didn't fucking make your film that way. Filmmakers are going to view their work differently than how the audience perceives it, but I don't know. How are you going to make that film and then be nauseated when people 
are responding to your film exactly how you made it. I don't know. I just, the dude is a fucking moron. The fact that Bradley Cooper still got in over Barbie and past lives is fucking wild. And the nominees for support and actress. Sandra Hewler in the zone of interest. Emily Blunt, Oppenheimer. Danielle Brooks, The Color Purple. Claire Foy, All of Our <gasps> Strangers. Yes. Sandra Hula, The Zone of Interest. <laughs> Rosamund Pike, Saltburn. <laughs> Dave, I enjoy Randolph, The Holdovers. Rosamund Pike getting in is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I would say it's because it's a British film, but she also got nominated for the Golden Globe. <laughs> Salt burn surge. I'm just kidding. I mean, it, it'll get a whole bunch of technicals here. But, um, that's fucking hilarious. I hope Jamie Bell gets in for supporting actor. The nominees for supporting actor are Robert De Niro, Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh my God. Robert Downey Jr. Oppenheimer, Jacob Elordi, Saltburn, <gasps> what? Oh Ryan Gosling, Barbie. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Paul Mescal, All of Us Strangers, <laughs> Dominic Sessa, The Holdovers. Oh my god! Okay, BAFTAs always, or, or not? I mean, always, but I mean, many times have they gone out for a young unknown actor who. It gives a fucking brilliant performance in the film. A la Woody Norman and Come On, Come On, Alan Kim and Minari. Um, and hey, I mean, shoot, Dominic Sessa fucking deserves it. He was brilliant in that film. Um, I was about to be pissed that there was no Charles Mellon, but I remembered he was not on the long list. No Sterling K. Brown, no Willem Dafoe, no Mark Ruffalo. <sighs> but Jacob Elordi and Saltburn. British film, British film, British film. <laughs> In this category, Robert Downey Jr. is not my least favorite of the nominees. <laughs> and the nominees for lead and actress are Fantasia Barino, The Color Purple, Sandra Hula, Anatomy of a Fool, <laughs> Kerry Mulligan, Maestro, Vivian O'Para, Riley. Oh my god, good for her. Margot Robbie, Barbie, Emma Stone, poor things. Oh, no Lily Gladstone. Oh, wow. I need a drink of water after that. Lane was a super charming film and Vivian O'Para gave a, a very charming performance um <laughs> I've been campaigning for Fantasia this whole season if I would, I would have to like remove Carrie Mulligan and put in Lily Gladstone oh my god I mean I still think she'll get nominated for the Oscar but and you know I've I mean BAFTAs have a little bit of bias but I'm just shocked that you know she, I figured she would at least get nominated for all of like the big, how many, four or five awards. The nominees for leading actor are Bradley Cooper, Maestro, Coleman Domingo, Rustin, Still haven't seen Paul her. Giamatti, The Holdovers, Barry Keoghan, Saltburn, Killian Murphy, Oppenheimer. Oh my God. Teo Yu, Past Lives. But no Greta Lee. She just missed SAG and BAFTA. No, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. She needs to get nominated for an Oscar. She needs to get nominated for an Oscar. She needs to get nominated for an Oscar. Oh my fucking God, oh my fucking God. No Leonardo DiCaprio in Killers, he, he might honestly miss. Oh my God, Greta Lee has missed two big ones now. And, and six nominees. for outstanding British film are All of Us Strangers How to Have Sex I'm so fucking triggered Napoleon that. The Old Oak Poor Things Excuse me Rylane Saltburn <laughs> Scrapper Wonka the zone of interest. <sighs> the zone of interest, poor things. Oh my god, Yorgos Lanthimos wasn't in directing. The zone of interest for all of us strangers is winning this award because one or both, or hell, even Poor Things will be in Best Picture. And the nominees for Best Film are... Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, The Zone of the Interest Holdovers. is gonna... The Zone of Interest is gonna win. Killers of the Flower Moon. Oppenheimer. And Poor Things. Oh, what? This is an absolute mess. This is a fucking mess. Uh, what? Yeah, what the fuck? Poor Things wasn't even in directing. Out of six nominees. Maestro was, though. What the fuck is this category? Zone of Interest gets in for directing, adapted screenplay, uh, but misses best film. Barbie gets original screenplay, actress and supporting actor, but no directing or best film. Tell you... <laughs> No, Scorsese wasn't in directing either. <laughs> Clear, it's gotta be something about the jury or their voting because like, the, this, that was just crazy. Six nominees for directing, five for film, and three of those cor overlap. This has gotta be, so this gotta be something about their voting because I don't know, it just doesn't, I'm confused. Greta Lee has now missed two major nominations. <laughs> and directing and film, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Let's look at these technical categories. Original score, Killers of the Flower Moon, yes. Oppenheimer, yes. Poor Things, yes. Saltburn, yeah, hey. It's got some very haunting tracks on there. Spider-Verse. <sighs> Daniel Pemberton might finally get that Oscar nomination. Oh, no, the zone of interest.